Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this vectors and motion problem, they want us to find the distance that the car travels and then also find the displacement. So they tell us at the beginning of the problem that the circumference of this circle, so the circumference of the circle is all the way around. So that whole distance there, C, is equal to 3.2 kilometers. Now for part A, they say what distance does a car travel? And they say that it starts right here at the most southern point, and then it travels to the most northern point, and then it stops. So we just went half of their circumference. So for part A, it's simply just 3.2 kilometers divided by 2, which gives us 1.6 kilometers. So that is the actual distance that the car would travel if you were to read it off the odometer on the car. Now, how is that different from displacement? Because displacement, all that it is, is where does the car start? We'll say x initial here to where it ends up at x final. And if we draw a straight line between those two points, that is displacement. So looking at the picture, obviously we just drew the diameter. So to find the displacement for this, we need to use the formula for the diameter or the radius of a, circ of a circle using the circumference. So to find the displacement, we need to use the circumference to find the radius or the diameter. So the circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi times the radius. Now we have the circumference, so let's isolate the radius. So if we divide both sides by 2 pi, goes away by 2 pi. So now if we rewrite this, we will have r is equal to the circumference divided by 2 pi. So when we plug in the numbers, we have 3.2 kilometers. And that'll be divided by, of course, 2 pi, which of course will give us the radius. So 3.2 divided by 2 pi, and we have 0 0.509. So the radius is equal to 0 0.509. But that's, of course, only half of the circle. So if we take that and we're going to multiply it by 2, that will give us the diameter. So the diameter is equal to 2 times the answer that we got which is 1.02. So that is the displacement of the car, which obviously is a much shorter distance than the odometer reading of the distance that the car went.